Today we're going over chapter six. And lesson two is about using dot paper to multiply by twos. Now each squirrel has two weak ones. So we have a squirrel and she has two acorns. How many acorns do two squirrels have in all? So we have another squirrel. Here's the other squirrel. And she also has two acorns. Okay, but we're gonna be using this dot paper to figure it out. Now we have two rows because we have two groups. We have group one and group two. Now, then we see we have two columns, okay? Now these are the rows and these are the columns, okay? So we know we have two rows and each row has two circles or two dots. These are the columns. Now, so we have a total, a whole of four and the four acorns. So it's a four acorns. The squirrels have four acorns and all. We see it both in this picture and we see it using the dot paper. Now this is the dot paper that we're referring to. Okay, now children see this is row one, this is row two, and we have two squirrels, and each squirrel has two acorns. Here you go. So these circles refer to the acorns, and we have four acorns. Okay, now, and these are the columns. So column one, column two. Okay, now, so we see here two rows, two columns, is equal to four. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at the homework and look further in and see that they have that the dot paper for us, okay? Now it says nine times two is equal to what? Or we could say nine rows of two is equal to what? Start with 10 groups of two. So here we have we're gonna start with 10 groups of two because that is a number that we're very familiar with. We know that 10 groups of two is 20. We know that already. It's right here, 10 groups of two is 20. And they show it here. Okay, here we have group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have 10 groups. Each group has two. They do. Now, so we know this 10 groups, each one has two, so it's equal to 20. Then it says that nine groups of two is the same as subtracting one group of two from, from 10 groups of two. Because we know easily that 10 groups of two is equal to 20, we have that. And we're gonna say, hey, what if I just take away, we're taking away with the subtraction. We're taking away one group of two. And they do that here. They're like, okay, let's take it away. And we took away only two dots. So here's taking away the two dots. And it leaves us with 18 and we can verify that and check it. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We see it's 18. Now, this is the only example you have in this homework. There isn't another one like it. On this other side, we don't see another one similar you know, on the back side of the homework. So what I'd like for you to do, let's just have one more, one. I don't know why, they just gave us the example and didn't give us another one to practice with. So I want you to add one more. And I want you to do eight times two is equal, and when, again, we're using 10 groups of two. Minus mm, groups of two. Okay, now. So go ahead and practice this one for homework. Okay, now thank you for watching and take your time. Good night.